Here's the metaphor for the day since it's a wedding day. Carly Jackson, what just happened? You got married? It's a commitment. It's not an it's not a a finish line, right? So you're on the marathon line and all that work you've done up to that point um it's just you getting up to that line and just right now is when that they fired the gun that's all that has happened right now you have not finished you're, you're not crossing the finish line you're crossing the start line <laughs> carly jackson i'm doing this for you i'm out way too early got up at four o'clock drove to logan to photograph this dang temple this for you guys, but I'm happy. It's good. I um, uh, hope you like your picture of your temple. It's like your little present. You can say that you, the picture or you, or the place you got married was taken on the day you got married. But now to run to another location because I think those clouds over there with the mountains are going to be better than the nothing from this angle. All right, Carly, you're in luck. We got some nice clouds for you. I mean, there's an empty band right there, but it is, I don't know, all this technical mumbo jumbo, right? I think I picked the right spot. I'll have you know, Carly and Jackson, that I ran around to three different locations and I got here in time for the clouds. But the temple lights are off already. Boo on that, huh? That sucks. Anyways, <laughs> I went to work. And now I gotta go take a nap or something. Actually, I'm gonna go down there. I'm back. Uh, it's been good morning. I think you'll like your pictures, Carlene Jackson. Should I do this video like, here's my experience at your wedding day. And Carly, just for you, I thought I'd wear, I started off the day wearing the worst possible outfit. <laughs> a beanie and a bright orange jacket with a polo, because that was my last shirt before I got washed on. And then like, what I wear for pajamas, <laughs> these, uh, <laughs> I had to cut them a while back because the bottoms were kind of ripped up. So it's like pretty bad. And then socks and sandals, you know, just trying to do you proud. Well, look what the cat drug in. <laughs> Out filming, huh? Yeah. That's cool. All right. I'm gonna put. I we need to put stickers on. Yeah, we're That's sticking what I'm, up our trucks. All right. So you've already got a few stickers on there. I'm gonna want to go right there. There we go. Nice. Hey, remember when you were getting ready? This well, point in time. This what? Is, I'm still holding on to my hat because what I am very excited for is we're going to Hawaii for ten days this year. No. Yeah. I did not know this. So uh, hopefully we'll be in Hawaii in the photo deca competition in like a year. And Still there? Still there, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna You're just going to end up staying there. So you're doing that for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Jackson hasn't seen her yet. There's a crew watching. <laughs> this is like, they're going down the aisle. <laughs> the cell phones are good, I hear. I hear the cell phones are good, Danny. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, they're no... They're no... I'm the official cell phone photographer here. Oh, well, that's you. Holy cow, what are you doing? Snapping them left and right. Kids are cold. Oh, brothers. <laughs> Logan, you can just stand there and do stuff. <laughs> look at, look at, <laughs> look at Dax in the backdrop. He is not excited. And then kids are cold. Look at these guys huddling up. I gotta get a shot. Oh, they're walking. Ooh, talent. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Who's getting mad at you for flying the drone? Where is it at? I'm hiding from the wind. Let me be the first to say that Jackson and Carly got married. I came out and I was like, um, this is, you know, I photographed, oh, I don't know, 100 or 200 weddings, a lot, most of them in LDS temples. And I know that the thing that um, is one of the most beneficial things that people can do 
is um, to record the people that were inside, to record their thoughts, since it's not a filmed event. It's really helpful to film. Wedding. Can it you? was spectacular. They are, I felt something when he pronounced them man and wife and sailed them forever. I felt it. So I was just telling them that I think it's important that the people that are in there, because when you're the person, my opinion is that you're like, ah, oh, and you don't remember you anything. Don't, you don't hear anything, yeah. So everyone else kind of has they to tell write the story. Down or tell the story, yeah. Tell the so story I just told them my story. That was so good. Your video, maybe. You can give them a little snippet of what you remember. I only remember two things. Am I really catching Jarvie taking pictures on his cell phone? I'm doing video. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the secret. <laughs> yeah. All these people hanging out. They're married. Yay for everything. Yay. Think of me. Think of me fondly. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. What's your name? Penelope. Penelope? And I love music. Alright. This is a sneak peek of everything going on around here. <laughs> Flowers, friends, babies, <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, white flowers, orgils. What's your guys' last name? Olensalot. Olensalot. The Olensalot. We're just having drinking out of fancy cups. Oh, are you? <laughs> is it fancy enough that you can make it sing when you put your finger around it? <laughs> it's fancy, you're fancy enough. There we go. This is my best friend here. <laughs> and my best friend's friend. That was backwards. Well, oh wait. I'm the best my friend. best friend. <laughs> my best friend's friend. My best friend's sister. Really, I'm my best friend. Oh look, you got the signed one? I was lucky enough to have the signed program oh, oh, oh. to get to cherish for time. Are you going to put that up in your room, a picture oh, of your brother and I'm his wife? I'm going to like, cut it in half so I can my brother on this side. Oh, I don't have to cut it in half. I'm smart. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your two favorite people. I can just unfold it and everyone can see. I have some more big words to tell <laughs> Four tires. Big sure though. Big sure Anyways, this dude's got a sweet car with four wheels that goes very fast. <laughs> this dude let me, he didn't even really know me at the time super well. He did. He let me drive his car. And I like to drive cars fast, and he found that out. But he trusted me, so I'm going to put my trust in him. <laughs> That they will never break up, that they will have a happy wedding together, that they will have a happy life together with Cooper, that they will have a baby girl, and that they will love each other. And then, um, this one's the best one, that Carly will never throw away her ring, <laughs> and that they will inspire each other. And I know without a doubt that these two will inspire each other and all of them. And 
I'm always skeptical of all her boyfriends. And I just look at him like, mm, I don't know about you. And so when I first met Jackson, I kind of felt the same way. <laughs> like, I don't know about you. You're pretty handsome, but what's inside? I'll say three quick things. Two of them are like bumper sticker statements that you've heard before, and the last one is why I know that these guys are perfect for each other. First thing, uh, you've heard it before, there's a lot of different definitions of success, but always remember that the most important work you will ever do is within the walls of your own home. We've all heard that before, and that is true. And second, life is hard. It sucks. There's a lot of things to deal with, like what really matters. And of course, the things that matter the very most are the things that last the longest. And today you have created an eternal family. So families are the most and the main reason why we as humans are on this earth, to create families. And then last, um, the reason and the, the time that I knew that you guys were going to be perfect for each other was when you proposed to Carly at Disneyland and my dad had sent me a picture and I knew that they were going to be perfect for each other because I hadn't seen that smile on my sister's face since she was a little girl. And that was, it, it overwhelmed me when I saw the picture because I was like, I haven't seen her smile like that in a long time. And the, the day that my dad sent me that text, I was like, I knew that they were perfect because of just the smile on my little sister's face. And a lot of people have said Carly's had other boyfriends. To me, she's had no other boyfriends. To me, she's only ever loved Jackson. And I, and I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm trying to think of a story about Carly. We have to throw like something in there. Yeah. <laughs> because poor Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jackson's lovely mom gave a lot of insight about Jackson. And so Carly gets out, bless her heart, and uh, she fills the car up with diesel. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever try to put diesel into a gas powered car, the nozzle doesn't actually fit into the car. <laughs> so, you know. Carly sitting there holding the, the thing open, I guess, is what how she did it, shooting diesel into Kaylee's car. And she filled it right up. Anyways. They made it all the way to the tree month before the before the car blew up. So like Logan was saying, like it's nice to have Carly that she doesn't have to drive all the time. And that's good, Jack, so you can drive and make sure you pump the gas. Tank. As my brothers have clearly stated, I haven't dated that many guys, but to them, I guess I've dated a lot. But I haven't always had the best of luck. And so after I met Jackson, I was like, this dude is too good to be true. Like something is gonna come out that's just gonna like break my heart. And finally, one night I got the phone call. <laughs> He's like, hey, we really gotta talk about something. And I was like, oh no, here it comes. He really likes watching, I don't know. Asian cartoons or something really <laughs> weird. It's like gonna break this relationship. And he's like, I don't know how this got so misconstrued or, or why you, I never told you this. I'm like, you have more kids than I do. I don't know. I'm like, just tell me. It's just, you know, building up. He's like, I don't know how you ever thought I was 25. I'm not. He's like, what? And I was like, are you like 30? And he's like, I'm 20. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, I'm old, I'm 28. And he's like, does that change our relationship? And I was like, I'm so grateful that's the only thing that you have to tell me right now. Like, you know, women were drama, we are like creating these scenes in our heads, and I was like, no, nope, we're good. And then I told my mom, I was like, I'm really probably cradle with this. <laughs> but I love you, and I promise to choose to love you every day. And I really am grateful for all of you, and every single person, I wish I could take the time and energy to love you as you deserve for being here and just being a part of our lives, but this is a dream come true for me and I know for Jackson and I just, I really do sound like Miss America, but I love you all and I really feel the pills right now. So I love you and thank you for coming and tomorrow is gonna be so fun. No tears, all dancing. So thank you and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I guess I can't really talk about love without sounding spiritual, so I'm glad that we got the roast out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that happened after you got sealed because I don't know if <laughs> you still want to do it. So anyways, I could go on and on and on. I could probably write down a, a list of a hundred different things that the Lord made happen so that we could be together. But that's the best decision I ever made up until the decision I made today was to jump in with two feet.
of myself doing this. All right, Jarvie window back. Casey, get in there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, with your wife. Get your wife. Wife. Oh, because I totally screwed you. You totally missed it, yeah. Where's your wife? How much, dude? You're on the block? <laughs> What's going on? It's Jarvis. Oh, not Jarvis. <laughs> it's mine. You can be on the block. Okay, I found another spot that wasn't windy. <laughs> In the doors of the temple. Okay, so what I was saying was that it's really helpful for the people inside to record their thoughts. And so, hey, Jackson and Carly, here were my thoughts from from what uh, the sealer, that sealed you two together, said. So what he did first was really cool. He, he went around the room. He had you look around the room, look at everyone in their eyes, and see who had come there to support you. And, um, and uh, that all these people in that room, mostly the, friend, the family and stuff like that, that they had been a part, an integral part, of, of your growing up and the stories of support and love that they had from them to you, and then obviously from you to them that that was an important part of uh, what was happening today. So I loved that. I remember another thing, I have bad memory, man. I really need someone when I get married to have a really good memory and like record it all for, you know, tell me all about it because oh, I've forgotten already. I mean, like I just walked out of the temple and I'm trying to record this so I can remember a few things. I remember another one that was really good that I really thought was special. And that was when he talked about how, how this earth exists um you know we came here to get a body to progress and to grow but we really came here to form families to to do what you did today which was to to um, get married and start this eternal family because in the lds temples we believe that families are eternal not just for this, you know, and he said for this, you are, you know, legally married for this life and for all eternity. Uh, and that, he stressed that a few times. It was a quote by M. Russell Ballard, or no, uh, Nielsen, Elder Nielsen. Yeah, um, I don't remember. <laughs> but he said that, he quoted that a couple of times, that this uh, is a very important event, one of the most sacred events um, not just in the temple, but that, not just that we do, but in the world is this uniting of two people in this special union to start a family. It is the foundation of the human existence, um, the, our, our human culture, and that sort of thing. Okay, when I was inside of there waiting for you to come in, I was thinking of like, if I had advice, what would it be? And I, you know, being the the unmarried one <laughs> but that doesn't mean that my vice isn't going to be great I think it's gonna be awesome and that is um, it's work right like um, I feel I worry that people are like we got married we're done this is it we it's success we made it and I'd look at it kind of like baptism or anyone any other kind of metaphor like that like baptism is like that's the start like, you made a decision, you made a commitment, you made a covenant with God, um, you started something that you have to keep on working for forever. Um, and some people don't quite get that with baptism and with marriage, that they're like, okay, we did it, um, and we're done, or that sort of thing, but it's not, right? You know that. You know that it's, it's a lot and a lot of work. It's just like the start of a family. And there's a lot more work to be done. I mean, can I say this in another way <laughs> that has more impact? But I think that's important. I think anyone else watching this video probably will agree, and they probably put that their advice down in the comments, or in your video, obviously, um, or in this video, whatever, because maybe then I'll re read them and think, 
hey, when I get married, I'll read these comments. Uh, anyway. Okay, just in general about weddings, right? I've gone to quite a few, and uh, I always worry that couples think that the wedding is about them only. It's obviously about them to an extent, but it's about all those people that have brought you to that point in time and to celebrate them, to celebrate... Because uh, getting married in the temple is not easy. If you guys are in LDS, it's like it takes a lot of commitment to, to do what's right and to be consistent. And, uh, and, and, and if not, to change and get better and anyone, no matter how bad or how many mistakes they have made, uh, they can always change and get better. There's, there's no mistake too big. Uh, but so it, it represents the temple. I took, I did a book of temples. It represents, well, it represents families to me. And it represents um, someone that has, has really stayed the course, who has, has been true to their faith. Um, and, and has made their way or made their way back. And it's really impressive. Even, you know, making their way back is just as impressive. Um, so I just love it. I love the temples and it's a great, great commitment. Um, but it's a, it's a commitment. It's not an, it's not a, a finish line. It's like, okay, we are committed to start this race since you like running, right? So you're on the marathon line and all that work you've done up to that point, um, it's just you getting up to that line and just right now is when that, they fired the gun. That's all that has happened right now. You have not finished. You're, you're not crossing the finish line. You're crossing the start line. <laughs>